We're at a new spot. Yet again. I moved places. This is going to be my new jam right here. Right through there is the ocean. You can't see it. But you can trust me. Well, let's talk about this week. It's a weekly energy video. I'll look at the astrology for the week. And then we'll do a tarot card spread to see how um, things may play out. So we're leading up to the full moon in Leo, which is this coming Saturday. And Leo is all about expression and sort of like stepping into um, your heart, right? Your, the heart is what connects us to our passions and how we take action in life. When we take action through our heart, we know we are on our path, so, so to speak, right? So uh, Uranus and Venus are doing a, like there's a Venus square Mars, which is like a hot and cold energy. I would just um, that it I feel like that transit is happening right on the full moon. And that's um, doubling this message of just like temper your emotions because um, Leo is pretty confident and cocky or can be. Um, there's evolved and unevolved. Um, evolved and unevolved qualities of all of the signs. We have the Page of Wands jump out in the reverse. So yeah, grounding as much as possible a vision, a vision that you have into something practical that is also spiritual path stuff. So I feel like a lot of people are awakening this week because Uranus um, is having major transits this week and Uranus is all about change. It just went direct. And it's hitting all these other planets. This is a week for teachers, journalists, setting goals, setting objectives, reaching goals, discover or invent something new, creature comforts, leadership, diplomacy, sociability, rebelliousness. This is going to be a packed week of like surprise and also. You know, meeting challenges with utilizing your strengths. There is something about like stepping into fully what you are capable of. Mm. Being able to, I think, communicate effectively is going to be important. Like, make sure you're balancing your emotions to me means saying what you mean and meaning what you say. All right, let's get some more cards. Let's see what this will... The Magician, yeah, manifesting what you want. That's like saying you have all the... You have what you need. You have all the skills. You have the know-how about utilizing them properly and saying what you need. So coming out of the cold, the Five of Pentacles, you have what it takes to get yourself out of some sort of hole or lack mentality. So what is the nature of this move? What is the nature of this movement? Manifesting something, creating something in your life. That's Gemini, right? The moon moves into Gem the moon's in Gemini this week as well. I think that's the weekend we came from. So any more messages? Yeah, this is about something wanting to change. Um, it's okay. A really important message about winners and losers. Whenever the Five of Swords shows up, this is about. Uh, this feels like, you know, capitals, and this is like needing to have an edge over somebody. But remember what it feels like to lose. There's both sides to this card. You're out there conquering things. Are you conquering your goals? That's maybe not the style. You're achieving your goals. The Ten of Cups in reverse. If you're trying to get an edge over somebody else, if that's your style, you know, and, and not even style, but just think about how we have our comparative culture makes us believe that our path to success looks a certain way, or because I'm not doing what they're doing, or vice versa, if they're not doing what I'm doing, that somehow one person's experience 
is more correct or less correct or more desirable or less desirable. I feel like this is about uh, really like owning your uniqueness in all of its ways, not just who you are and where you come from, but the way that you like to do what you do. Your method of learning, your method of teaching, your method of working, how you relate to people and how you connect with yourself. We have Queen of Cups, so we're still, well, this is in, a, a deep inner journey to realize where your strengths are. This is about playing to your strengths and not your weaknesses. The, the Five of Pentacles, again, is about getting out of the cold and wanting to move forward in some way. And what I love about this card is that that's not one person. They're not alone. So I like to say that find other people who have similar goals that you do. And you know, this is sort of feeling like organizing a little bit. We're organizing ourselves, taking stock. A big theme of this whole year is going to be like fantasy versus reality. Like what's actually real and what is the dream? Not that they are distinct from one another, but I feel like the dream is... Reality is always changing and the dream must also live in some way. As in, it's, you don't just create a dream and then it's like set in stone and you're always, you know... There's... There's something about like having like a singular outcome <laughs> or being open to more than one outcome. Um, so in that way, I'll say that the dream has to reflect how reality is changing, right? Or does reflect or does change over time as well. So if there is something changing um, with that sort of feeling of like what what is it makes you happy is changing, maybe how you're doing things and thinking about things um, is changing. It's coming from looking at your inner world. You know, this Queen of Cups, this is this chalice is like so beautiful. She cherishes this cup. It's like she's praying to the altar of herself, her own inner world. The cup is the inner world. Mm. So yeah, how do you treat yourself more like the god and or goddess that you are? By honoring how you're thinking, how you're feeling at this time. Saying what you need, but also claiming... Uh, stating your needs, and, uh, but claiming your strengths and what you can do to help, not just help yourself, but help those around you. Mm -hmm. All right. Any final messages? Final message. The sun, that's beautiful. tell if it's raining or not. It might be. Okay, sorry about that. The sun, strength, the hangman, six of cups. All these cards have been showing up like crazy. Um, this, like in the readings I did over the last week. Um, there's Leo, right? There's double Leo, actually. The sun and strength card. So I, I feel that there is like a small <laughs> ego death or something um, in this realization. Um, there may be some resistance to like taking a step back and like seeing how things have been. This there, this there's calling it. There's a calling attention into like more of an assessment of what is. Um, we're we're backtracking. That's what it feels like. We're. Which is good, because when we take stock like that, when we think about past events and maybe how they affected us, it's like, when you get distance from that, temporally, like, when more time that passes, you can look back and see yourself and this other person through a different lens. Um, maybe having more love for the situation, maybe... Um, definitely re reclaiming some joy and, like... Working on this heart space is what I feel. So there, there's going to be very, very good qualities to this full moon in Leo. 
I think if you heed this, <laughs> this Venus square Mars, hot and cold, impulsive, balance your emotions, express yourself, but be aware of others. Express yourself, but be aware of others. Embrace yourself as you are. What you are is in your heart. Yeah. That's what came up. What you are is in your heart. Uh-huh. All right. Check out the recommended listening below. Thanks for dropping in. I'll see you on the next video.